Hello, and welcome to Until Dawn. I'm Gravy in My Veins. This is a blind playthrough, except for, I guess, the first minute or two, so you can ignore that little guy. Um, but spookiness and choices and survival and stuff. <laughs> Things that I'm not good at. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think I have a good track record with choice-based games, and I spook easily, so this should be fun. That's really cool, unless, like, who lives and dies is really decided by, like, the smallest decisions. Like, whether you had Wheaties or a Pop-Tart for breakfast or something. I'm guessing that's not one of the people we'll control. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Lyra. I'm not even making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Why is this house place so poorly lit? Oh, I guess the power's out. That is unfortunate. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Weekend. Josh. Who are, you, who are you talking to? The passed out drunk guys? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. <laughs> Are they already dead? Jeremiah Cray. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I got your note. Glad you could make it. <laughs> should start with a little transitioning back to this scene uh, makes a little more sense if you check the objects in reverse order that I just did oh, yeah. 
And did they change the definition of making out? What? Oh my god! Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah? I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. This all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh. Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah? So we've already got a set of people that we don't really mind dying. Wakey wanky, drunko. Josh. Josh. Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! <laughs> Hannah! How could you mess around? Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, yes. I'm familiar with you kids and your fancy quick time events. Let's be safe. We technically don't know there's anybody bad out here yet. No need to go breaking ankles or anything. Fuck that noise. Follow the footprints. Wait. They weren't human footprints? <laughs> Could have told me that game. Jesus fuck shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? You probably already. Oh my gosh. A game that's yeah. making me use the touchpad. What is this? <laughs> I hope your lives don't depend on me using the touchpad. Yeah, I should probably keep it kind of pointed near the ground. Beth, you realize you've probably frantically sprinted farther into the woods than Hannah went anyway. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared. Hurry up, button. I like it. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, a thing. Get the thing. Possible death of the person who finds it? <laughs> okay! <laughs> well, it's official. Now I'm scared! <laughs> death prophecies. Walk too close to either side of the woods, Beth. Hannah! Oh, right. Walk faster, button. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Come on, walk fast. <laughs> fuck away from that. Hannah. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, 
something's chasing us with heat vision? Death prophecy, no! Hold on! Hold on! I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I wouldn't say that I'm not on board with it. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. A scarecrow had a. Creepy look on his face. Yeah, definitely the scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. If the scarecrow were not there, would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. Staying anywhere on my own for a week of time. Uh, no. Oh, no? Why not? Uh, why can't I answer both? Is there something else in that picture that scares you? The unknown. Not specifically. That's interesting. It's just how I am. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that is missing from that picture. Hmm? The thing that's driving you fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? But the next time.
Whatever you say, game. <laughs> Although I already told you, it's the unknown. It scares me. <laughs>